so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Muhammad Ali and Iron Mike Tyson. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Muhammad Ali can be so elusive, but Teddy, when he has been hit by power, he's got a great chin. Yeah, that's the problem that's discouraged him. First of all, the first thing is the speed, the elusive ability. How do you catch him clean? And then, as you just said, you finally catch him, and it's like hitting something that doesn't give, something that absorbs greatly. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. That's a good block by Mike Tyson. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. He just missed that shot up top. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Super two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive wizard. You know, he's not caught lanes. He didn't all of a sudden become an invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. Nice two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Able to show you his blocking ability. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. What an excellent two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Ali has steadied himself now. And he's not pulling back as much right now. That's what got him caught to begin with. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Able 
able to dismiss that body shot. This is really solid defense by Mike Tyson. You see how he has his arms up in that peekaboo position, but by doing so, he's not allowing any of his opponent's punches to get in. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. He said he was going to solid. Muhammad Ali is on the canvas and hurt. One, two. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Seconds to go in this third round. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. He's just the center of the ring, okay? Tyson's in complete control of this fight early on here. Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards, but even more important than that, he may be able to end this fight. He's put his man down on the canvas. Well, his opponent keeps squaring up with him, giving him a lot of surface, and he's finding that surface. now with that double jab up top. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Right, Ali's not doing so hot right here. I just don't like the way he's going about his business here, trying to employ that strategy of fighting from the outside. Did you see that? Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up One, after going down a two, second time? Three, four, five. Ali's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. He comes back with the left hand again. Good smooth work by Mike Tyson. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Muhammad Ali. Scored well up top. Doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's gathering himself now after scoring a knockdown in that last round. If you were his trainer, what would you be pumping into his head? Well, I would say, you know what? He hasn't recovered. He hasn't had enough time. Ali's hurt by a big shot. He is staggered and stumbling. Big shot. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Six, seven, eight, nine. Boy, what guts. What guts to get up again. What gets me upset about this guy, Joe, he's got so much heart. I wish somebody taught him a little bit more because this guy's getting hit with punches he shouldn't get hit with. If you taught him with that heart, you'd have a champion. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Tyson's at his best 
when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Nice. That's an impactful nice. right hand by Muhammad Ali. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A little head hunting with the right. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Five, six, seven, eight, get up. You know, that knockdown has really affected Ali. That wasn't the kind that you just easily overcome. There are still lingering effects here. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Ali's on the receiving end of a hook. Here in these later rounds, we've just seen a consistent trend. And that is precise, good, clean punching by Mike Tyson. And that's because he's in control on both sides. What I mean by that is offensively getting off first, but defensively. He's making a miss, too, and throwing it right back at him. Ali's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe faint him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Scores well to the head with the right hand. He missed with that headshot. Ali's clearly affected by that. He turned big shot there. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated. The ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Come on. Nine, get to your feet. Ten. And it's over. Look at this. Muhammad Ali's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. By way of knockouts, your winner, Michael And that's exactly why he packs the stands. This fight is over. Boy, you gotta love a power puncher when he's on his game. Yeah, and you have to love a finisher. He knew how to end it. He knew which punches to choose at the right time. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore.